In this lecture, we'll see how we can make use of the PRedis or Predis client and connect it to our Redis server that we have installed on our Windows operating system. So here we have the zip file and you can see that I have unzipped it. And this is the set of files that we get. What we'll do is we'll copy the bin, src and other files excluding the examples. So here in my code view, you can see that I have created a directory called Predis and inside that we have all the files required. Now, here you can see the index.php file. Now, all we are doing is calling the autoload.php which is residing inside the pRedis directory. Here you can see it, autoload.php. So, this is what we are referring over here and then inside the try catch block, remember we are connecting to our local server. So, here I am using the Predis slash autoloader register and then creating the instance of a client and then finally printing it out over here. In case of any exceptions, I'm just logging it out. Now, the Redis server that we have installed on our Windows operating system runs as a service. So here, you can see that when the system starts, this automatically runs. So this server runs the Redis server. This is the service which runs the Redis server. And uh, now, if I go ahead and execute this by clicking on this, serve project with php extension this is what we are getting as output of print our redis client so you can see that it is currently connecting to localhost and the port is 6379 so it's listening on this port 6379 and the ip address is 127001 which is referring to our localhost now when we connect to a remote server you will notice that connection string needs to be specified and here we'll specify the scheme using the TCP protocol and then the host which will be the remote IP address and then port. This we'll be actually exploring when we'll see connecting to a Redis server installed on Linux. So in the next lecture we'll take a look at how we can install Redis on Linux environment and then from that point onward we'll also explore how we can connect to that using the Redis client.